Uh, so when it comes to holding uh, the band for the band row, there's a couple different ways you can hold it. Uh, if you don't have a, a loose ring hanging around, you're going to put your hand through and grab. If you do have a ring around, I, I, it works a little bit better, it's not a huge deal. You take the band, you're going to loop, and you're going to pull through. So either way works fine. And then you kind of just can loop it around uh, whatever you find. I've looped it here on a GHD. Um, it doesn't really matter which loop it around. It should be anywhere between hip to shoulder level. All right, so now that I've got the uh, band attached, you grab it. I want to walk back to the point that even when my arm is straight, there's still some tension on the band. Now we're going to go to an athletic stance. All an athletic stance is, as I bend my knees, I'm going to lean forward slightly. Now here I'm going to engage my force, so my back should not be arched. Or should it be moving down and forward, I want to engage my core and make my back perfectly flat. Now the band here wants to make me rotate, wants to pull my core forward, my body forward, I'm going to engage my core. It's nice and tight, I'm thinking my butt, my hips, my abs, my back, and this prevents me from rotating. I'm going to pull the band back into my armpit, keep my short blade pulled down and squeezing it back, let it come forward. Now you notice as I'm pulling, I'm moving within my upper back, but everything below my upper back is staying still. So I'll do this exercise so often as I get some back work in, nice row, which probably use more of. At the same time, I get some anti-rotation work in, which is really important, especially for weightlifting, because everything we do, a lot of it's static. So I land, and I'm trying not to rotate. I'm trying to hold my core statically when I move my feet to recover, for example, on a split jerk. So that's the standing band row.